Good morning, everybody. I hope you can hear me and that you're with me today. So today I'm gonna go live with uh, a little bit of a background on kind of what I've been up to in the studio. Uh, should be a fairly short video today. So one of the things that I have been doing is I've been working on half hall models for a presentation for the next video. Uh, I'm gonna do three half hall models. The first is I'm gonna do redo the Victoria and the next one I'm going to do will be a Harrishoff uh, 12 and a half footer, and the third will be a Dark Harbor. So you've all seen probably the Victoria line drawing. So let me show you what the line drawings for the um, Harrishoff and the Dark Harbor are. So I'll turn the camera around here. Um, so the I've got a, I pinned them up on the wall here. And the first one will be the Harrishoff 12 and a half footer, which is here. Now, one of the challenges is you can see there's lots of lines going on on there. Now, these um, uh, uh, plans I got from the Mystic Seaport, and these are actually drawn off of a 12 and a half footer called Metal. Um, so it came with two sheets. The um, line drawing like this is which we need to make the half hall. And the other is the construction drawing. And I thought it'd be kind of interesting to show you the construction drawing, which is right here. And it is so similar to the 12 and a half, which is right here. So really what the difference is, is if you look at the keel, which I've got in color, the uh, primary colors there, and if we look down at the Harrishoff, you can see the keel is much uh, deeper. So the challenge here is that these are, are pretty big plans. Uh, I think if I, if I measure the distance from uh, that the plans show, it's one and a half foot to one and a half inches to a foot. So this is clear, nearly uh, two feet long, which is a little bit big for the half hall model. So one of the challenges I'll have with this one is to reduce those plans so that I can use a um, smaller uh, amount for the lift. So if we look down here at the water lines right here, right now they measure in reality three quarters of an inch. Uh, what I wanna do is to reduce that down to maybe five eighths of an inch or something like that. I haven't quite determined that yet, but it's, it's a little more challenging of a half hall model, mainly because of where this turn of the bilge is here. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit more complicated and I think it'll be an interesting um, sort of intermediate model. So what I should say is that the next video, I'm gonna do three, um, uh, half hulls, the first being Victoria, which I think is as a beginner's model, then the Harrishoff, which I think is as an intermediate model, and then the final one that I'm going to do is a boat called the Dark Harbor. Let me readjust the camera here so that you can see it a little more square on. So it is um, a boat that I have really admired for a long time. Now, I will probably never build it because it has such a deep keel in it here. And where I'm located, I'm not on a coast, so it would be very difficult to sail a boat like this. But because I just love the lines of it, I thought, well, this would be a great opportunity to show this uh, in a half hall. Now, it is, a, it is definitely an advanced half hall model to make. And why that is, is up in here where the bilge, you can see how it really has a severe uh, keel that comes down. So this information right here, if it were just water lines, it wouldn't be very much information. So what we'll need to do is to actually use the buttock lines in here. So that'll be something that will, I think will be kind of interesting to see how that, um, how that turns out. So. 
Uh, now let me show you over here what I've been working on. So here are, is the table, my bench that I've been putting together. So what, what I have here are the lines for uh, Victoria. And what I did was I developed a half hull pattern here. Okay, so I can get a little more square on. So you can see I've got each lift is made into a pattern. And what I've done with this is I've digitized it and I've put it on my Patreon account. Let me turn this around just for a second. So, so the, my, uh, my Patreon account, which is the Art of Boat Building, and anybody at the $5 or the skipper level or above will get free access to these plans. So what, what you'll get is a digital download and what that digital download is, is then you can take it to a, a uh, office supply place that will do large scale prints and uh, print that for yourself. Uh, it'll come on paper. So what I've done then is I've spray mounted it onto some cardboard which is right here. So these are the lifts and they've been uh, attached to uh, poster boards so they're a little stiffer. Uh, it also helps in keeping the uh, patterns stable. Uh, it's really humid here in the Midwest right now so uh, it's, if it was just paper they would actually be wrinkled up. So. Um, one of the things to look forward to is that I'm going to show uh, some multiple ways to do, um, see if I can set this down and show this. Kind of new at this camera thing live, so. Uh, but this is a, this little rack here is to do half hull lifts on. And it's a different method than what I typically use. So, what happens is these lifts get put onto this right angle um, bracket like that so that you can glue those all together. It's raised up so you can get a clamp underneath there. So I'm gonna show how to make one of these and how to use that for the Victoria model, uh, which if you'll remember, this is, this is the model of Victoria here, which is the one that these plans are for. Now the other thing that I have uh, decided that I would do is that I'm going to um, not use a bandsaw to do Victoria. So several uh, viewers commented about wanting to see if there's another way to do, um, uh, not using a, a, a bandsaw. So what I'm gonna do is use a, just a power jigsaw and some tools that pretty much anybody should have in their home shop. So, now uh, one of the things I wanted to share today is I always, I get lots of comments asking me about my sculpture. Well, I'm actually up there on the wall behind me. You can see the parts of a sculpture. These are um, aircraft wings from a Submariner Spitfire and they go together into a, a um, organization so that they, they actually are a sculpture. Um, anyway, so that was a good place to store them. I get lots of questions about it. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you was some really old sculptures here. You got stuff out of the way here. Turn the camera around. So this is a sculpture that I did back in 1983, I believe. I think it's on here. Yeah, 83. Um, so this is laminated wood, and you can see the different layers of wood in here. And essentially, I made these sculptures, and I did lots and lots of laminated sculptures like this. Um, I did it the way that you would make half hulls. So what I did was I would make a small uh, model of what I wanted to do. I usually modeled it in clay or something like that. 
and then uh, I would take points off of that. So I actually have a little slideshow set up here of some, I had to scan some old slides. This will wake up, yeah, there we go. Let me set this down so that I'm not shaking around anymore. I uh, hope you can see this. So um, it's at, uh, between the computer screen, and but you can see there are lines in here. Let's see if I tip it up a little bit. There you go. So you can see these lines. So those would be just like water lines uh, on a on a boat. No, I am not very smooth with this camera. Here we go. So um, once I got those lines made, then what I would do is I would um, draft them larger. And so you can see how those organic lines are really just like uh, buttock lines and or water lines. And then when I made those patterns bigger, what I would do is I would glue them together. This camera has a mind of its own, I tell you. So I glue, saw them out and glue them together. Uh, I would have little registration marks in there so I'd know how they would go together. And then um, this is, I'll back it away a little bit. So you can see, uh, basically then I carved all that down with files and so forth. Um, well, actually this is rattle order. <laughs> This would be the first one where I glued it together and then I uh, filed it down like that. And then I uh, put a lacquer finish on it. Now this wood is actually redwood. And believe it or not, back then you could go to the local lumber yard and just buy clear redwood in pretty big planks. And this is what the piece looks like when it got finished. It ultimately got sold to uh, a college, I believe, uh, for their permanent collection. So anyway, I thought I would share that in that, um, this, a lot of people have asked me, it's like, how'd you know how to do half fall models? So I'm like, well, I basically did a graduate program in laminated wood. So um, it's, it's kind of a little bit second nature to me. Uh, in fact, I think I might've shown this in a, in a different live that this was a, when I first got started doing boat building, I made this half hole model here. I appreciate your comments, letting me know that I'm talking loud enough. <laughs> um, at any rate, um, that's pretty much all I've got to share today. Uh, I, I did mention in my comment that one of the things that has set me back a little bit is that I did have a um, procedure to a health related procedure that went very well. Uh, I, it was in good hands up in Mayo Clinic. Uh, however, it took a, took a lot out of me and it took me a little bit to get back on my feet. So that's why I'm a little bit behind. Um, the other thing is that I'm Working, so there, there may be some times where I'm uh, not 100% uh, on Victoria, mainly because uh, Steve's editor would like me to get a little bit more ahead. Some of you may know that Steve's videos, in reality, he's about three weeks ahead of the video that you see. Uh, mine, on the other hand, are pretty much, a lot of times, the video will be something I shot the same day that I posted it. So. <laughs> Uh, I've been working really hard on trying to get a little bit of a leeway in there because uh, I certainly don't need that kind of stress of having to, to uh, put a video out at the last minute. But um, at any rate, uh, I appreciate all of the well-wishing uh, 